Ladies and gentle gamers, welcome to my first ever ETS2 stream. As you can see, we'll be driving the new Volvo F816 today, and well, let's just jump into the game and see where we are. We are currently located in Nuremberg, Germany. As you can see, I have done some driving. This is not a let's play, we won't be starting from the start. Let's see if there's anything for us to pick up and get right to driving. Let's see, we could... Hmm. Uh, let's go from Nuremberg to Duisburg. A little bit of a uh, slightly heavier load, but nothing wrong with that. Uh, a little bit about the way the game is configured. Uh, I'm driving a realistic automatic with an adaptive transmission setting, which means I can uh, hit the kickdown. A realistic fuel consumption is on. Fatigue is on. The only thing that's actually disabled is the speed limiter. There we go, closing into our uh, pickup location for the trailer. It's already nice and highlighted. It should take us about 8 hours of driving, which means we will have to make a break in between. As I only have three and a half hours left before I have to make my break. Let's stick our heads out of the window and see where we're going. Connected. Time to put the beacons on. As this is an unusual load. And time to make our way out of here. Let's make sure there's no traffic coming before we take the turn. In terms of hardware, what are we playing the game with? Well, that's easy to say. A Logitech G27. Brilliant little steering wheel. Fully mappable to everything ETS2 has to offer, so really, really advised to use this steering wheel for this game. And we're on our way. Now you might see me speed a little bit on certain areas where I know there are no speed traps to catch me. Reason being, the faster you get to your destination, the faster you get to pick up another trailer, uh, the faster you get to make some more money. If you look at the bottom right on my nav unit, you'll see I have 31,000 euros 
which isn't really all that much in this game. Reason being I just upgraded the first garage to start with from a one slot to a three slot garage allowing me to buy two trucks as soon as I have the money for them and hire some drivers. Now if you have any suggestions during the stream or things you would like to note, put them in the chat box and I'll read them afterwards. Let's take our turn up onto the motorway here. And we're on our way. Seems we've got a clover leaf coming up where we have to take the exit. So let's switch lanes to the center lane. Make sure we don't get pushed onto the wrong exit of the clover leaf. And here's our exit coming up. Exit number three. Slow down a little bit. These hairpin turns really speed up your truck pretty easily. Uh, I do mention I don't have the engine brake mapped to any of my keys yet. Nice, the other traffic's giving me a right of way. As soon as we get a speed trap up ahead, that's not a problem. We're still below the speed limit, we're still accelerating. So that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, no, it isn't. Alright, we've hit 90 km an hour. Time to put on the cruise control. Switch to the center lane to avoid traffic taking the exit. And let's have a look at our map real quick. See where the first rest stop is coming. Ah, uh, good. We'll be about halfway there before we find the first uh, rest rest area. Are we going to make it in terms of time? I have two hours of driving left till I have to make my break, and 21 hours till we have to arrive at our destination. So that should make us should make for a nice and easy trip. Background music is provided by YouTube in this case. It's called a Metal Dubstep Mix. Oh, it seems it actually disabled our cruise control, looking at it. Which isn't all that great. Which means 
we have to accelerate all the way back up from 35 kilometers an hour and in a truck I can tell you that takes a while now a small note this Volvo is only configured with the 460 horsepower engine and still needs to be upgraded to the 750 one so poor acceleration blame it on that <sighs> as you can hear it really is starting to become time for us to take our break And we're going over the speed limit, judging by the dashboard. Not going to hit the brakes to prevent uh, wear and tear. Might as well just let it roll out and slow down on its own. And it seems this is a good time to switch lanes as well. Cruise control up on 90 again. Now again, if you have any suggestions or comments, be sure to put them in the chat box. I will probably be uploading this little stream up to YouTube later as well. Um, same as with the uh, Twitch, just go to YouTube and look up Mega Mad Gamer. Better find that rest stop soon, it seems, before we start falling asleep behind the wheel. We got one hour and ten minutes left, so ah, our driver is a wuss. Right, nice little bit of space on the right lane, so let's switch lanes, clear up the left lanes and the center lane. And now we see the sign for our rest stop coming up. Uh, we don't actually need fuel yet, so we'll just skip that. We'll skip the fuel and go straight to sleeping. Let's take the exit. Ah oh, man, our driver's a real wuss. He's starting to fall asleep already. Like I said, we're not gonna bother refueling since we still have plenty. We're just gonna park our truck on one of these uh Little allocated squares here, uh, switch the engine off, put the parking brake on, and uh, we'll grab some rest. And this is why I hate not having my front mirror on, but that's more of an aesthetic little thing instead. Right, let's take some rest. Oh, and let's put the lights off before we run out of battery. There we go. Engine back on, parking brake off, first gear, let's pull it away. Five and hours of driving left to go before we reach our destination of. Mm, what was it? Ah, right, Duisburg. Put our indicator on, make sure they know we're coming to the left lane. There we are.
Now you might have noticed between gameplay I am using a few mods to uh, to make the game look a bit more enticing when it comes to uh, visuals. Mostly I uh, use a trailer pack mod provided by Truck Simulator Star NL. Uh, I'm using a light mod which is also provided by Truck Simulator Star NL which has a few more different lights and some ornaments for your light bars. Nice example of the trailers, they add it with that little trailer pack. Nice little custom bumper on that one. Let's switch to the center lane. Right, there's our exit coming up. Uh, let's slow down a bit because it seems to be speeding some pretty badly right now. Actually, not pretty badly. I've done worse, but still too fast to take a turn onto the other motorway like this. Put the blinker off, annoying little thing. Just quickly checking my phone here, it seems someone's poking me around on, uh, on my phone. So I'm swerving a little bit. Luckily for us there are no speed traps here, so we can make a bit of speed here. Oof, already doing 105. Slowing down a bit on the uphill, but that's normal. We're just going to floor the accelerator here, see how far we can get. Uh, this is something out of the question in real life, but hey, it's a game, so we can do whatever the hell we want, so why not try it out? Make a bit of a mean pass on the right hand side. Now I know it's normal for all you English folk, but up here on the regular continent, no, it's not normal. Duisburg is already showing up on the signs, so that's good. Yeah, we still have three and a half hours of driving left to go. Ooh, we're going to slow down a bit. Be it a bit rough, but. A little uh, speed trap coming up right there. Uh, for now, just to be on the safe side, let's put the cruise control up on 90 kilometers an hour. It's a good thing we have a, uh, a low loader as our trailer 
Their center of gravity is lower than a regular, allowing us to take speeds, take corners at slightly higher speeds to without them tipping over. Now I might not always be making as much sense during a stream, bear with me, I pretty much just woke up and for the sake of it decided to do a little stream while I have the time to do so. A little bit of a short uh, pass in between that mini. Let's take a left lane. Don't want to be slowing down just because he is. Well, let's wait for that little mini to speed up again so we can get out of the left lane. Lost him in the mirrors, there he is. Right, two and a half hours left to go. Uh, when we reach the destination, I'll park up the trailer and uh, we'll be ending the stream. See the gearbox shifting back automatically as we're going uphill and wants to maintain that 90 km an hour speed. Uh, let's get out of the center lane for a bit here. I must say, SES added a real nice little touch with these low loaders. Uh, they actually have their own uh, beacon on the back of it which actually works in tandem with the beacon on the tractor unit. Really nice little touch on the SES. Let's take ourselves back to the right lane, clear up the left and center lanes, allow some more traffic to pass. You'd expect there to be less traffic at this time of day considering it's 4 a.m. on Friday, but hey, whatever rows their boat, as long as they uh, don't become too big of a pain in the ass for us. One hour and 24 minutes of driving remaining, 86 kilometers. So let's take the center lane here. Judging by our GPS, we don't want to take this exit, we want to take the next. There we go, blinker on. Let's take the cruise control off. Allow it to do some speed on its own before we start hitting the brakes. These kind of really sharp exits, these are the ones you really want to watch out for. It's really easy to, to pick up too much speed on the downhill and lose control of the truck hitting the, uh, the hard shoulder on the right. But we made it alright, so let's speed up again. Let's see what we got on all the traffic uh, coming in. Seems to be alright, so let's take the right lane. Just keep your accelerator floored. 
the automatic transmission is keeping it in the 10th gear instead of shifting up to 11 or 12 which it normally does to save fuel but like I said we're running the adaptive automatic transmission which means we can use the kick down function to keep it in gear longer and instead of shifting over at 1500 rpms it'll decide to shift over at 2000 giving you more torque range got some traffic lights coming up so let's hit the brakes a little bit take the left lane We do want to be passing all these trucks, as they really tend to slow you down a bit too much for my preferences. There we go, we cleared them. Let's take back to the right lane. Now you'll notice me driving mostly from inside the cab view instead of from uh, from the exterior. Reason being, I find it easier to drive from a driver's point of view instead of looking at the back of the truck. It's hard to judge turns coming up that way. We got a hard right coming up. Uh, the lights are hitting red, so that's not so bad. Allows us some time to slow down to get our bearings. It gives me a chance to show the outside. Uh, the skin was made by SES themselves. It's part of the, uh, the two Euro Halloween pack they released. Uh, the Volvo uh, is a free truck which comes in the, uh, in the latest patch for free. You don't have to actually buy it from SES. Buy it for free in the new patch. Cap view. Hard left coming up. Let's make sure I don't hit any traffic with the trailer. Took it nice and around them. And you can already see our destination coming up on the GPS. On the route advisor. You would expect a load like this to be heavier, I mean, we are carrying a, uh, a loader behind us on a flatbed, uh, yet the entire trailer only weighs 16 tons with the load. Normally a load like this would be 20-25 tons at least. slow down a bit, we're coming into the city. We're not supposed to be doing 80 kilometers per hour in the city, so let's just uh, slow it down down to 50. We've got a hard left coming up. And there is a bit of traffic, but that's not an issue. That was a bit too fast in that turn, but we managed. Right, my favorite aspect of the game, parking. Now, considering I have a uh, left-hand truck, I will be parking on the left hand, as uh, as they call it in the business. Let's stick our heads out the window. Get ready to maneuver it into position. A 
bit sharp. But there it is. Now, normally you wouldn't disconnect the trailer like this, but for the sake of it, we'll just hit that T button and do. Right, we had a 523 km kilometer journey with a total fuel usage of nearly 250 liters. Total payment, close to 20,000 euros. Right, thank you for tuning into this stream, and I hope to see you next time. Again, you can find the replay of this stream on YouTube. On my channel name is Mega Man Gamer, just like my Twitch. Um, yep. Yeah, so thank you. Leave any suggestions you have, and I'll see you next time.